Hi everyone, my name is Allison Meyer and I'm a local account manager with Steris. I'm here today to provide an in-service for your A-series surgical lighting system. We'll review the controls, the suspension, and the light head. There's multiple different ways to control the Steris lights. The first one we're going to review is from the wall control you see here. As you'll notice, it's in standby mode. To activate the screen, you just hit anywhere on the screen. There's three different tabs across the top. The first tab is our lighting tab. On here, you have two lights listed. If you had three or four lights, they would be listed below. You can control the lights independently of each other or all together here at the bottom. Think of this similar to an iPad where you can simply touch the screen where you want the light to turn on or you can drag the control for the intensity. You can also hit the negative and the positive to increase and decrease intensity. There's 10 different levels of illumination on each light head, plus an additional task mode that we'll cover when we review the light head. To control the lights all together, you simply hit on, intensity up and down, or off. Down here in the lower right corner is the ambient light control if you purchase this option around your main spindle. You can control it on, auto, or off. Auto means that the ambient light will turn on when the lights are automatically shut off. The next tab along the top is your in-light camera tab. If you have an in-light camera in your system, this is one of the ways you can control the zoom, focus, rotate and brightness. Down at the bottom is where you can turn your camera on and off. The third tab across the top is going to primarily be used by Biomed, Clinical Engineering and Steris Service. The one tab you might use is the second one down, Lighting. There's two key features to the Steris system called an accent light and auto intensity. On this screen, you would either disable or enable the lights, and we'll go over those features when we review the light head. The additional ways to control the light is from the non-sterile control located on the cardanic of each light or the sterile control on the handle or the in-light camera. All buttons are identical and do all of the same things. If you hold the positive sign down, it'll turn the light on. So the intensity is operated independently from each light in the sterile field. In order to control the lights together on and off, you can hold down the negative, keep holding, it shuts your second light head off. To turn them on, you hit the positive, again, on your non-sterile control or your sterile control, keep holding, it'll turn your secondary light on as well. As I mentioned, the intensity is operated independently from each light head. When you take this all the way down, it looks like the light's off, but in fact, that's your task mode light used for minimally invasive cases. So in combination with your accent light and task mode, you have plenty of illumination on your back table. To review the suspension system, we're gonna start from the top and come down. So as you'll notice at the top, there's an optional ambient light ring around the main spindle. There's also an optional auxiliary arm, which on the A-series lighting system, you can add up to two of those arms at any time post-sale. You'll notice the shape of the arms is significantly different from any other light on the market. It's an airfoil shape similar to an airplane wing to help minimize dust and help with air turbulence in the room. You'll also notice all of the gray knuckle covers on each point of the system that's done on purpose as a collision point, kind of like a bumper to help protect. So as you touch the light heads together, as we know they bang in the rooms, there's no plastic components on there to break. It's to help protect the lights. One of the most important things when talking about the suspension system is the position of the arms. So I always like to say, keep knuckles out. So the V point on the arm between the upper and lower arm, you always want to position away from the sterile field. To address customers' concerns with drift, this suspension system comes with a patented brake ring instead of a brake screw. 
As you can see here, the surface coverage area is significantly more on the brake ring versus the brake screw. Additionally, with our patented brake ring, Steris has found that no additional adjustments have been needed for five plus years after initial install. The first thing you'll notice on the light head is the open concept. This was specifically designed to help promote laminar airflow as well as dissipate heat and surgical smoke over the sterile field. The next feature you'll notice is the green accent light on the back of each light head. This is primarily used during minimally invasive cases. There's two different ways to control this feature. As I mentioned, the first is on the wall control where you can enable or disable from the settings tab. The second is from each independent light head. By holding the negative on the cardanic and the negative on the handle together, the light will shut off. By holding the positive and positive together, the light will turn back on. The thing you'll notice about our handle is it's slightly offset for a couple reasons. One being is it allows more LEDs to be in the center of the light for a tighter focus or smaller spot size. The other is when you have an in-light camera in, the lights typically live behind the surgeon's head, so this allows for a greater viewing angle when you're recording or seeing something in the sterile field. The next thing on the sterile control, whether it's your in-light handle or your camera, is you can do a slight quarter turn of the light head to change your spot size or focus. As you may have noticed, the intensity automatically adjusting when I adjusted the spot size of the light, this is our auto intensity feature. Steris has sensors built in all the way around their light head to automatically adjust the light intensity as you go from a larger to a smaller spot, as well as raising and lowering the light. Now to review the sterile cover options. You have one for the light as well as the camera, both disposable. There are adapters that you can get for the light if you want to use different covers than the ones that are provided from Steris. These can come direct from Steris or in your custom case packs. So I'm going to show you one of each. This is your sterile cover that you simply just slide onto your light and you now have sterile control of the buttons. This is your sterile camera cover. If you, it's easier to stretch out the cover before sliding it on slide up once it's fully extended with a slight twist. Now I'm going to go over the removal of the actual handle and camera itself. So one thing to note is that Steris has the ability to do an HD in-light camera or a 4K in-light camera. When designing the suspension system, one key feature that we were asked from customers was to give a toolless option to remove your handles so that you could take your camera from room to room. Say Dr. Smith was going from OR5 to OR6, but you only have one in-light camera to use. You can easily move that camera between cases. So to do this, the best way is to shut your lights off, keep holding, flip the light upside down, pull the toggle, and release. To reinsert the camera, you simply line up the portion with the light head. It's easiest for the light to be upside down so you can provide a little pressure and lock the camera. Now to show you how to remove the handle so you can insert a camera. Again, I think it's easiest to flip it upside down. There's a black button on the side of the handle that you're going to want to push to remove the plastic cover. Then there's two buttons that say push here, push down, and twist to remove the solid core. You can then insert your camera as I showed you on the other light head, or to reinsert your handle, simply align the three buttons, push down and twist. Then make sure you put your plastic cover back on and you'll notice that the buttons on the actual handle illuminate when properly engaged. 
This concludes the A-Series Surgical Lighting in-service. Should you have any additional questions or concerns, please reach out to your local Steris representative. And thank you for your time.